Black Lives Matter group is an evil group who is now being promoted as the next civil rights movement or the, uh, I mean, they are being um, held up as a good organization. They are no different than the KKK or the skinheads. They're an angry, godless, hateful group. But they are being held as something good. There was a town hall meeting in Los Angeles in the black community held by, by the L.A. Mayor Garcetti. We have uh, photos of um, what happened last night. It was amazing. NBC report Black Lives Matter interrupt Garcetti's town hall meeting. I want you to watch this if you are watching all assets 24-7. If not, you can hear it. Listen to what is going on. Police escort Mayor Eric Garcetti out of a town hall and away from a frustrated crowd tonight after a meeting that didn't go as planned. NBC4's Beverly White joins us live in South L.A. with more on the confrontation with the mayor. Beverly. Well, Colleen Holman, United Methodist Church became a hotbed of civil disobedience when activists who want the mayor to fire the police chief disrupted a community meeting. About an hour into a town hall meeting, things went sideways as Mayor Garcetti spoke inside this South L.A. church. It's a very, very difficult job to be a police officer. Black Lives Matter activists turned their backs and shouted, bringing the meeting to a halt. If you are interested in having a civil conversation, I'm going to ask you to remain here. If not, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and leave the building. Activists then swarmed Garcetti as he walked out. Black Lives Matter! and outside they blocked his car. No races, police. LAPD breaking it up in a matter of minutes. Most of the crowd was just loud and, and boisterous and, and, and wanting to, to speak uh, to the mayor. And there's no need at that point to arrest or detain anybody. Black Lives Matter says this action stems from disappointment and frustration. We really wanted this to be a meaningful dialogue, that the black community has something to say to the mayor. We want him to hear, as well as us engaging in his responses. The pastor here at the host church says he regrets the meeting being hijacked. He says the meeting also featured the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and even the police commission. As for the mayor's office, they issued a statement this evening as well, saying they are disappointed the conversation was cut short. So what you had, you had a bunch of police officers there. You had the mayor uh, protection group with him. And they allowed this radical black group of untrained, untamed black folks run them off. They ran. And Black Lives Matter followed them out in case you were not watching. And one guy got up on top of the car, the mayor's car, yelling and screaming. And they ran the mayor out of his own town hall meeting with the policemen surrounding him. Instead of putting these, dragging these thugs to jail. Just drag them to jail. Don't carry them. And arresting these folks. These folks are not for good. They're not for the people. They are angry, racist, evil, radical political group. They are no different than the skinheads or, or the KKK or any of those organizations. Why are you tolerating this? There was one black man, black thug, jumped up on top of the mayor's car. And the police officers are helpless to it. We have total chaos in our country today. Um, it's just chaos everywhere. Authority have uh, just backed down. Uh, this is from the Voice of the Unions, California Teachers Union. They sent out this pamphlet, pamphlet um, it's like a newspaper telling you about what's going on with the school, with the public schools and things like that, right? And I'm going to show it to you here on the camera. Uh, here's what it looked like on the front cover. The teachers' union talking about what's going on with the teachers. And one of the headings, they have Black Lives Matter right here. Black Lives Matter. They're promoting Black Lives Matter as though they're promoting 
Martin Luther King Jr. And then I opened it up to just kind of look through it because I can't believe my eyes. I'm thinking, well, maybe they're saying don't pay attention to this radical uh, uh, group, right? But no, I opened up this, in the center, the middle of the newspaper, it has union equal social equality. And on one side, they have Black Lives Matter, a whole page about Black Lives Matter. And the other side, LGBT rights advance in school and colleges. This is what they're teaching your children in the public school system. You're going to lose your children, folks. They're going to come out. You're not out of school. You will not know who they are. That's what's going on in the public school system. Black Lives Matter. They're not teaching your children about reading, writing, and arithmetic. They're teaching them to hate, to accept abnormal lifestyles, to turn against what is right, turn against their parents. If fathers and mothers were together, and the fathers were the head of their wives and children, and loving what's right and doing the right thing, this would not be happening. It would not be happening. If this information doesn't cause you to realize that we need to regroup, we need to go back and rebuild families. We need to continue to, as we're doing at Bond, to encourage men, especially black men, but all men, to turn back to God, love him with all their heart, soul, and might, and if they want a family, get married, and fathers and mothers, by good example, guide their children in the right way to go so that their kids can feel love. So when they go out into the world, they will not be easily seduced by the children of the lie. And that's what Black Lives Matter is doing. They are children of the lie. They have not been raised with good fathers and mothers, and they're out there seducing your children because they, they have been seduced, and they are seducing. I find it so interesting that the Democrats, the liberals, whenever they get these radical groups coming to the forefront, rather than repudiating them and turning away from them, denouncing them, they bring them in and promote them. 